Hi everyone, this is Nagraj from Conceptual Software Technologies. Today I am going to show you how to put a path mate on a reward surface or a curved surface or a circular surface. Uh, as you can see here, three slots are available. According to these slots, I am going to put a slot mate. First of all, we have to create a pathway or the guidelines, uh, guidelines to follow the path. So, for that purpose, I am going to edit this part first. Okay, now go to sketch. In the sketch, select offset on the surface. Okay, click on the curves that you want to offset. Here, 2.05. Uh, I am taking it as a 2.05. It is the distance between, it is a mid distance between the slots. The slot is having 4.1 mm. For that purpose, uh, I am taking 2.05, 2.05 mm. Okay, as you can see, I have selected a curve and a curve has been selected. Now, go back to your part. Now, curve is created. Now, we have to create a plane for from this uh, on this face because uh, referring to that plane only, the key will be moving. For that purpose, Go to references, click on plane and select a point. Here you can see a plane is created. For that purpose, you have to give reference to this surface, keyway surface. Okay, click right. Now the path and the plane both are created. Now we can import a part, insert component. Here is the uh, key which is iOS which I have created open the key okay i'm just enabling the origins okay as you can see in a blue pointers you can see okay now go to meet in the meet Go for the advanced mate. In the advanced mate, select path mate. In the path mate, you have to select the origin point because uh, in the path mate, only point is selected as a component vertex. For that purpose, I am selecting it as a origin point of that key. Now we have to select for the path which has to be key has to be moved. For that purpose, I am selecting a selection manager. Here you can see there is a closed loop option is there. If it is a closed loop, you can select this, this closed loop entirely, but key will follow this path. But I want only a single path has to be followed. For that purpose, I am selecting a open loop. After selecting open loop, I have selected a loop that I have created. Click right. Okay. Now go to below options. Uh, in the path constraints, we I'm selecting it as a free. We can select it as a distance along the path. When you select a distance along the path, we can give the distances of which uh, we can specify, or or else we can specify the percentage of the path. I'm selecting it as a free. Here uh, I'm selecting it as a uh, key has to be follow the path which I have already selected. Uh, here you can specify the coordinate systems also in which direction that you want that is XYZ in this uh, option I am uh, selecting it as X which is a different option the roll control option I am selecting uh, for the effect roll control is like if you don't put a roll control the key will be rotated in 360 degrees for that purpose I am selecting a effector in the effector I have to select the which plane which have to be uh, affected for that purpose, the plane which I have created, I have selected that thing. Okay, everything looks good. Then click right. Okay, now we can see. I'll fix this thing, and now we can see. It will follow the path. Okay. 
ओके वन मिनट एज यू कैन सी द मैकेनिज्म इज मूविंग अकॉर्डिंग टू द कैम पाथ I hope you understand now how to put a path mate on a curved surface or a circular surface. For more information and queries, please contact to the following numbers. If you like this video, please leave a like. Subscribe the channel for more content like this. I'll see you in the next one.